Hey, we're back. Welcome back. Uh, we're in Omdwil's Manor, and he's gonna send us to the elemental plane of Earth. I just got my fancy new swords, and I'm keeping around my, um... Keeping around my flame sword, because it served me well. So, now it's a memento. Let's talk to Omdwil. The elemental plane of Earth is a dark and dangerous place. Even with the magic of the nearby Earth Foundation creating oxygen and pockets in the otherwise solid stone and soil, are you prepared to go? I am prepared, yes. Oh, just good. And I'm there. If you find yourself overrun by enemies, hold back. Yes, we know. Ah, oh, the pretty art. They are coming, Luvia. The Harpers have hired them to take the four elemental foundations from us. Do not concern yourself with such trivial matters. I will deal with them soon enough. Trivial? Do not underestimate them. It was such thinking that led to your disgrace at the manor. Psst. I know my feelings well. Almost as well as yours, Karn. Yes. Perhaps we shall speak of feelings another time. But now I must prepare for the arrival of my guests. Soon the world will witness the full glory of my science, and those lapdogs of the Harpers will help me. Yes. Show us this science of yours. Just do not fail the Zentarum again. Do you think when she left she forgot to pack clothes? Do you think she knows she's got some schmutz on her face? Jade! So this is the elemental plane of Earth, huh? I like it. There are... There are going to be rust monsters here. And if they eat my 50,000 gold sword... I am going to lose my m oh, look at its purpleness. It's so cool. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, leather, wood, Welcome. give. You'll find no other merchant with quality and prices to match mine. I've been supplying brave adventurers for over a decade. Uh, uh huh. Club. What else you got, my man? Superior vile staff. What do you mean I can't buy? What do you mean it's sixty-three thousand dollars because it does three to twelve acid damage and target bleeds three damage per second for three seconds? Were you saying something? Anyways, that's fine. I'll just take your. Uh... I'll just take your club. Thanks. And uh. <laughs> Nothing like a good old-fashioned beating stick. I look good, man. I, I just make everything work. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to buy potions. Bartley, well, you son of a bitch. Seeking arms and armor. I have everything you need right here. I got two. Good. All right. I ain't got no metal on me. No metal. No metal. Just clubs. <sighs> that thing is called an Umber Hulk, and they suck. <laughs> These clubs do four to six damage. And I'm still critting in the 50s. Oh, you're dead now, mofo. Give me a second, I'll just put my get up on. Any other 
Umber Hulks in here. Ooh. You have a nervous system that I can stun. You have no chance. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just, I'm just moving. I'm making moves. I will take that healing potion, and that jade, and this jade. <sighs> they did increase the design of this Umber Hulk compared to the first one. They didn't just copy and paste the asset over. Those eyes are, are more prominent. Uh, I feel like the textures in the arms and the back look a little better as well, so kudos to them, you know. Why is this club five to eight and the other one's four to six? Whatever. <laughs> Just stun and gun, baby. Bait him in with the smell of metal and destroy him. Rejuvenation potion, thank God. It's a little tedious, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Keep my baby safe, I'll do anything. Called a pro gamer move. Oh, yeah. I don't smell appetizing to you anymore. <laughs> gold? How do you have gold? You're supposed to eat metal. I cut a stomach open. That makes sense. Like the contents of a shark's stomach. That they call uh, tiger sharks the garbage cans of the sea. I like to believe things that get lost in the earth eh, just end up in the elemental plane of fire. So you know how like old pennies, uh, obviously here in the case of gold. So you know, fun things like that. Ow. <laughs> the game is fun, guys. <laughs> oh, he's on some. <laughs> He had to sit there and watch me beat him to death. <laughs> I will be taking this rock for my own. Yeah, babe, I went to the elemental plane of Earth and picked it up this morning. <gasps> you did? Valentine's is coming up, gentlemen. Pick your lady up a rock from the elemental plane of Earth. I'll love you for it. That man was full. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, recall potion. Just once, I want like a skeleton just to like drop down. Not not like an animated skeleton, but just some dude's bones. Ooh! I don't know what these are. Some sort of rock elemental beast thing. Stun you. You appear to not have a nervous system to stun. Thank you for your patience. Ah! Vulnerable. 
or uh, uh, resistant to slashing damage. Makes sense, it's a rock. If that's the case, what it would be vulnerable to is thunder damage. But I don't have anything that can produce thunder. So, here we are. <laughs> Poor dead bastards. Anything in the corner? Nope. There was a whole section I didn't get to. Um, I'm gonna run back. Because how often do you get to visit the elemental planes, you know? It's not like, a, oh, we're gonna go over to the next town and, and pick up some groceries in their Kroger's, you know? You gotta... You gotta get in contact with a wizard, you gotta find out when their schedule's open, you gotta... You gotta pay the wizard, you gotta hope they have the materials to do it the right way. So it's just it's just one of those things that, you know... You, you gotta take advantage when you can. Bug boy. Are you made of man meat or bug meat? Because I don't eat man meat. And don't get even, don't even get me started on those like. You know, those cheap elemental plane trips that you find online. You know, you get a deal, you know, once in a lifetime. Because they're just... Th nine times out of ten, they set you up for some ambush, and you get your money stolen, and you get sold into slavery, and that's bad. Slavery is bad, I don't know if you guys know this. So, y you really gotta go to a reputable source, and those reputable, s your reputable sources, whew, cost you a pretty penny. I'm going everywhere, is what I'm saying. Oh look, I'm already backtracking to where I was. All tunnels lead to the same, same spot. Oop. All right. I'm like I'm barefoot too. This this natural uh, elemental soil is really good for the skin. So I'm I'm just taking it all in, man. I'm essentially on vacation. It's a working vacation. So, get off my back. Tough bug. Looks a little bit bigger than the other one. But unfortunately for that bug, I uh I got no metal on me. Just kinda ran him down in the streets and took him out, you know? Cold blooded style. Taken out by the very thing he craves. Is that irony, or is that coincidence? Nope, irony. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I heard a Weird Al song talking about irony in the English language. So I think I got it. There was like one line in there. Good guy, Weird Al. Stop it, man. Ow. 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 Stop it. Alright. Two can play this game. I hope I win. Oh, I did. I like how even with the, um... The damage resistance against 
bladed objects, my swords. My sword still just absolutely wrecks this gentleman. I don't hear any clickety clack, it is a rust monster, so. Stole this man's Nikes. I'm going to be doing the elemental plane of fire last. Next will be earth, then water, fire last. Oh, I need a uh, need my clubs. Hanging out at the club. Come back. I need to kill you. You sometimes have gold, but you always have experience. And I also need to take out the frustration and anger of every single person who's ever lost anything to a rust monster. <laughs> Full disclosure, if I ever run a D&D campaign again with my friends, I am so putting them in there. I will have to look up if they are able to eat magical items. And if they are, I as the DM will say, I don't care, they're still gonna eat them. I'll just put the DC a little higher if they have to like, make a check. Well, that's a good look for you. Oh, look at that mouth. Gnarly set of chompers. He looks like the bug version of a bear. Mixed with an antlion. Got them big old claws, huge torso, big wide head, you know. Looks like a grizzly or a brown bear, if you will. Yeah, you thought. Did you see that critical? It's 69 damage. <laughs> nice. One gold. I want it. I want all the gold. Let's see if I oh, 69. There it is. Let's see if I can do it again. And I did. Ah, I got another one. In case you hadn't noticed. I am like everyone else in the world, sometimes. Wait a minute, which one? Combat reflexes, 80% of the damage, this one is... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I want that one first. I just have base full plate gloves and base fucking yeah. I definitely have improvement capabilities in the armor region. One at a time. I will get to you. Calm yourself, mister. I will save it again though. Approach the Earth's Foundation. That is a cool title.
Be sure to break barrels and crates to get additional items. You may find abandoned gold or useful items such as potions. <laughs> it's pretty in here. Thank you. You again. I cannot tell you how pleased I am to see you. Bloodmire. I wish to thank you for your help at Bloodmire Manor. Surprised? Yes. Thanks to your wanton destruction of my creations, I've come to realize some grave errors in my thinking. Originally, I had thought to create life from death. True life, not undeath. Taking the best traits from existing creatures and bending them to my will to form a whole new species. But then you arrived and destroyed all that I had made. It was at that point I realized the truth of it all. What good is the creation of life if all it takes is a sharp sword to end it? Death. Destroyer of all. That was the missing element that prevented my experiments from reaching their evolutionary pinnacle. But no more. The solution is at hand, and you shall help me. Luvia Bloodmire. Let's finish this for the last time. Come here. I want to show you something. Check out my swords. You think they're cool? Yeah, I think they're cool too. That lady's got an arm. Hey! I win. Ooh! Gross. I'm trying to get a good look at her. Oh, she's a mother. Gross. 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 That's right, Luvia. I have become more powerful than you can possibly realize. Anyways, uh... Good seeing you again, Luvia. It never would have worked between us, no matter how much you wanted it to. You know, I remember this character model being a lot darker. I don't know why. And I also don't remember her having her hair. Huh. Oh well. Activate the Earth Foundation! Remember to block. You have activated You're not gonna believe this, guys. Most excellent. Here, your reward. Reward accepted. Ooh. And then I said I'm gonna go to the air elemental plane, so. Very well. May fortune follow you, adventurer. Farewell. There is generally very little solid material in the elemental plane of air. Though the Air Foundation's magic will have drawn some together, still a fall will spell certain doom. Are you prepared to go? Yeah. Shoot me. Dude's cross-eyed, I swear. I'm over here, man. <laughs> Are you prepared to go? <laughs> I do not like this, Karn. Am I, the great Habdazad Doomwing, now reduced to a petty god? You were not required to like it, Habdazar. The Zentarum commanded that you guard the Air Foundation. That should be enough. 
Or should I inform them you have more important matters to attend to? Bane, curse you. I am well aware of my duty to the Zentarum. Habdazar Doomwing shall guard the Foundation with his life. Now return to your hall, Karn. The mere sight of you sickens me. Very well. I shall inform the Black Network of your promise. Should the Air Foundation be captured, your life will be forfeit. Oh look, the air is gently moving me. Whee! This is gonna be a bear. That's solid, okay. Look guys, ball lightning. Oh, and it dies so fast, thank goodness. I just have to hit it. I'm gonna take myself off sprint. Cause I don't wanna just Yeet myself to oblivion, you know? And there's no map. No map. So, I'm running blind. If I miss a section, it's not my fault. Oh, those things break. Good to know. Uh, oh, it's a tornado, guys! Or an air elemental. Block us. And they hold gold! Wonderful. Well, here's a save point, which makes me believe the other way that I came from had a spot that I could get to. Or not a spot that I could get to, but some extra additional stuff that I could explore, maybe break apart a floating rock or two. I'm very happy I can wear my armor and wield my swords again. Ah, oh, here we go. Topaz! That's the lightning stuff. Very valuable! Okay, let's go. Closer, my child, I want to slay you. Ow. I'm just gonna go. Stay, stay to the left. Is that gold? It was. Dude was packing remarkable scale gloves. You know... Tom Duil, um, why couldn't you, like, cast, like, an airwalk spell on me or something? Something useful? Something that would prevent me from falling through clouds to my doom. Here's where it gets fun. These these thin lines. Ugh. Weave, weave. I'm going back. I want to fight him. I 
I don't think I've raged yet while wielding these weapons. There is more damage I could still do. <laughs> I am just a menace to everything. <laughs> Come here. This was a lot more difficult. Um in the PlayStation 2 controller. Oh, because the, um... You were controlling your character with... the thumbsticks. And so your thumb might be a little bit more shaky than normal. I'm skipping a lot of this stuff because I hate this place. And your, your thumbstick might be a little bit more shaky and so you're just like... You, you're just wobbling everywhere, trying not to fall off. This is going a lot better than what I was previously anticipating. Obviously, I died once, which is embarrassing. But, uh, these air elementals and these ball lightnings are getting taken care of quite readily, and that makes me happy. I also hope I'm going the right way, because, once again, there's a save point. I have no map. There's my map. Come here. Ooh, this looks promising. That looks like a bigger one. Both of these do. Oh, how did that not kill me? Approach the air foundation in a second. Approach the air found. Let me save it again, just in case I die. <sighs> Whatever deity you worship, because your death is at hand. Attack! There is not two of them, there is only one of them. That was funny. You have no chance! Habdazar escapes! His manticore slain, Habdazar Doomwing casts a spell and vanishes like a sniveling coward. There is, there is, there is! Aww. And thankfully, everyone else killed themselves because they knew they had no shot. I am running through these elemental planes a lot faster than I anticipated. Oh, that's a very nice blue flame. I hope I don't get ripped out of it. Well, there must have been 50 and you no know, 100 men. Well, I could have easily handled them, but they took me by surprise. Give me 200 soldiers and I'll go and take back the Air Foundation. I promise it. Promise. Are you a man of your word, Habdazar? 
Have you ever broken a promise? The great Abdazar Dooming always keeps his promises. Just give me 300 soldiers and I promise to take back the Air Foundation without fail. Then let me remind you of your promise to guard the Air Foundation with your life. The Zentarum wish to collect on that promise now. No, no, give me another chance, please! Let me redeem myself! You are past redemption. But rest assured, I will let the world know that Habdazar Doomwing was a man of his word. Poison answer today. Oh, they, they brought me upstairs. Sure, I'll, I'll walk down. I'll triumphantly. Oh, my ankles. The Air Foundation has been activated. Well done. Here, a reward on behalf of your work for the organization. Oh, I think I heard a level up. Yes, I did. The elemental plane of water, please. Very well. May fortune follow you, adventurer. Fe yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. 20 points. Um. Carrying capacity, yes. I can hold 390 pounds worth of stuff. Jarek tells me I am to transport you to the elemental plane of water. The magic of the Water Foundation will somewhat tame the surrounding environment, so you will not drown. Are you prepared to go? Handy and convenient. Fix your eye. Yeah, I'm prepared. Look at that ice hole. I'll warn you again, Khan. Your men will only die here. Nothing can stand between my magic and my foes and live. You're powerful indeed, Eludra, but your arrogance will be your undoing. How dare you! You think to command me, worm? I do, and by your master's wishes, do not forget that. The men stay. Farewell. All right. Snow piles. The aquamarines. Can I jump down here? No. That's some. That's some bull, bull poop. There we go. Jellyfish, jelly. They're pretty strong. Yeah, these guys can take a beating. It's impressive. I don't like it. I wish they'd just die in one hit. <laughs> But I guess the challenge is fun every once in a while. My attack swings are so fast. Is there anything else here? Yetis! Yetis! I don't know why the Yetis are here. It's not much of a water type creature, but who am I to say where they live, you know? They're vulnerable to a certain type of damage. Hey, 
Hey, pal. <laughs> Surprise! Ooh! Can I go down here? I can! Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight. Glad I can run up that super steep ice wall. Very cool, Kanye. Dude got a surprise round on me. Good for him. I'm on my way. What max level is. Just watch his homies get get their fade ran, man. I have so much health, it takes so much to rejuvenate all of it. Not a bad thing. The design of this place is really cool. It's shiny and I like it, I don't know. Sue me. I would love like a remarkable or a superior or even a fine full plate chest piece. That would be dope. Water foundation. Let's see. How many healing potions do I have? 14? That should be enough. Cannonball. So, you've arrived. I know who I am. I think that I might be an Aboleth. The sea witch, mistress of the dead. My sorcery has sunk 100 ships and slain 2,000 men. And now it will utterly destroy you. Joke's on you, witch. I can't count.
told you I can't count. How many aquamarines did I grab? I know I got a bunch. Fifteen! Holy shnikes. I mean, what's the deal with airline food, right? Like, it's shit. <sighs> you met. Oh, sorry. I clicked on that too fast. You met with success at the Water Foundation. Your reputation is well deserved, as is your reward. Very well. May fortune follow you, adventurer. Farewell. All right, I'm Duel. You know the drill. You are to go to the elemental plane of fire now. Yes. Yes. The fire foundation should make the surrounding area habitable, but the terrain will be dangerous nonetheless. Are you prepared to go? Yes. That's a cool background. Are you well, Lady Aragazia? The man gets around. Or should I call you Isagora now? What do you want, Khan? I am merely concerned for your well-being. It was quite a ferocious blaze you set at Firewind Manor, and you look a little worse for wear. Do not play with me, human, or I shall nullify our alliance with your death. Then lick your wounds quickly, dragon. The same adventurer who made a fool of you at Firewind Manor is now headed here. Man's a master uh. manipulator. <laughs> Let the little worm come. Under his resume it says, uh, 15 years in gaslighting experience. The humiliation I have suffered. Ugh. Recall. <laughs> Recall. Welcome back. Seeking arms and armor? I have everything you need right here. Right here. You'll find no other merchant with quality and prices to match mine. I've been supplying brave adventurers for over a decade. Actually, you know what? Let me buy some more well, potions. My shop carries the finest armor and weapons, the work of local master craftsmen, as well as imports from Waterdeep and Arm. All right, let's go. Now, logic would dictate that this red liquid with a pillar of fire coming out is gonna hurt me. Yeah, yeah, it does. Ow, ow, wow, that hurt a lot. I know better now. Don't know where I'm going, wandering around the fire plane, hoping I don't get burned to death. Uh. Sprint is my best friend, I'm gonna need it to get past all these lakes of fire. Let me in! Those are the big chests too, yeah, we're, we're getting there now, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. I 
Like, it's just a big open spot. Why would I not be able to go in? Can I go in here? No. Why? See what we got. Um, yeah, that's two hundred and forty-nine gold. That makes no sense. Ooh, runestone. Jason, rejuvenation potion. I didn't even check how much gold it was. All right, a little less, you know, than I expected, but it is what it is. C'est la vie. appreciate the extra healing. This fight with Lady Azagora is gonna suck. <laughs> it's like, um, the water or the lava here, it's like, um, what's that? What's that one liquid that, like, when you run across it really fast, it acts as a solid, but when you stop moving, you sink into it like a liquid? That corn starch fluid hoopla. Non Euclidean mess, I think. I don't know. Good shot. I hate you. Die. Thank you. Save point. That seems to be a good sign. Find my way to where I need to go. No. More chest, though. Full plate armor. Nope. Imperial's sacred studded leather boots, though. Whatever that means. Plus one to bless. These boots are holy. Where's my sprint noise? Walking in the lava. That's the way to go. Not the way to go. Is this the way to go? Sorry, I woke you up from your nap. Lava formation? You were given two Jasons? If this is all of Isagora's uh, treasure, she didn't have a lot. sense. A chunk of flesh came out of that fire elemental. What is this place? Okay. Nope. I'm gonna do something a little cheeky.
I'm gonna give it one more try. And if it's nothing new, I'll just continue on. Alright, I'll just continue on. I was hoping I'd get like a random drop of some good armor or something, I don't know. Checking all the corners, making sure I don't miss where I need to go. Mm, that's obviously not it. Oh, wait. Is this it? No. But I checked, so we're good. armor, just not the armor I desire. Duh! Frickin' lava. Um. Ooh, that was a little weird. Standing here. You're here. You're built like a steer. Get used to it. still burns. The science is almost conclusive. <sighs> this is a big reason why I did not like the elemental plan of fire. Kind of an open space drag. Hey, buddy. Rejuvenated healing, I remember an aquamarine healing Jason. You know where you are, buddy? 808 gold, that's not bad. A little better. How do I get 
it over there. Right there. Am I close? I believe I am. It, guys fantastic save it real quick how many healing potions do I have nine I'm gonna go buy some more ain't no way in heck I'm winning that fight on nine I might but I'm not gonna well, risk it either if you need weapons or armor to protect you from someone else's you come to the right place Seeking arms and armor? I have everything you need right Don't here. forget the potions, the reason why you came here. Good enough. Better wrap this up soon. Episode's gonna go a little long. Alright, approach the fire foundation. Let's do it. Fortune ends here, adventurer. This time there shall be no escape from my flame. Wood. I will leave nothing of you but She seems bigger than in the cutscene. I mean, how do I fight this? It's so hectic. It's, it's borderline unfair. <laughs> I've hit her once. Oh, gosh. Good. Yeah, baby! Woo! I think it's the first time I've ever done that. Not cheating. <laughs> what do I spend my points on, man? I'm eventually gonna have to... Dodge. Enemies are more likely to... Miss me. Miss me with that weak stuff. Iron will. I don't know. I don't know. Power attack, infl that, that's a, a move that I don't want. Sunder, no. <sighs> Alright. 
Fantastic. Go. Me. <laughs> a little dicey in the first half there, I'm not gonna lie. She was kicking our ass. I don't know how many potions I bought, but I'm left with 12. Yeah, like I said, no way in hell I would have won that fight with just 9. Literally, no way in hell. Get it? Elemental plane of fire. It's, it's like fire and brimstone. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna explain it to you. Extrapolate the data on your own. I mean, look at her. Look at her lats, bro. She's hot. I'm just gonna say it. She's hot. Was hot. She's dead now. She's no longer hot. Now she's stone cold. And now I, my soul gets ripped. Ah! Alright. The fire foundation has been successfully reactivated, yes? Good, good. My congratulations and your reward. Is that the last of them then? Yes. With all the elemental foundations active, we can. What in the. Karn. I should have known you would eventually show up. You would? Desperate to save your patron's plots. I should have killed you back in Nashkel. Not likely, old man. I'll die in my sleep before you put me to the sword. Wait, stop! Jarek's ready to throw I did hands. I'm here to fight. I've grown tired of your trickery, Cell Sword. Your words always wreaked more harm than your blade. Perhaps that is so, but I speak truly. The Centaurum have lost the Onyx Tower, Jarek. But so have you. The Vampire Lord, Mordek Salanmir, holds the only way into the tower's core. It is he who controls the tower now that your agents have brought it back to Torel. Mordok, the Pale Knight, the White Prince himself? Oh, we're doomed. Damn this all. Mordok hasn't stirred for nearly a century. What could he be up to? No one knows. But disaster looms over both my employers and your precious realms one way or another. Darkhold sent troops, but we've lost contact with them. Slain by Mordok's own undead soldiers, I think. Then we'll finish the job. Karn, I know Mordok's shadow magic keeps his keep well hidden. If the Zentarum knew the way, you must lead us. And you, adventurer, we'll need your arm as well. Are you with us? <laughs> Far out, dude. The Keep of Pale Night awaits us. Are you ready? I am not. I will return later. Um, <laughs> I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Very productive. Just ran through the elemental planes, all four of them. Bam, 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 you know. Killed a dragon. Messed up a sea hag. Uh, punched some tornadoes. What a day. Uh, great episode. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stick around. It's, it's getting interesting.